I want to call you one. Is it okay if I call him one? Funky dog head, bitch. Been on that, they're gonna always be on that, and it's 
it's the same way with when you look at like Eric Garner type shit. You know what I'm saying? Freddie Gray type shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It, it's it's just the way to show that yeah we still lynching niggas and y'all can't do nothing about it. You know what mm. I'm saying? Mm. See, we we still discriminating against black folks. And y'all can't do nothing about it. We make it where your kid can't graduate if we decide to. Yep. Right. So I'm white, not safe. So. Just off he look his his appearance. Yeah. We'll we'll show you yep. that we don't give a fuck about. Period in in 2020. That's right. So, which is which is what I think Kaepernick shit was about. Yeah, he was talented, but he, he did that, and y'all was like, oh, fuck about your talent. So yeah, show all the rest here. of y'all. You can't get a job nowhere else, can y'all? No. <laughs> 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 they ran that shit on fam. You know what I'm talking about? So, what do y'all do? Y'all got any thoughts about the uh, Jay Z's union? Is he is he slick with it? Super Bowl was great. He doing good things with the deal. Uh, everything's fair. Uh, should he turn it up a little bit, turn down a little bit with that deal? What's your thoughts, brothers? Uh, I think he is on that side of, of, the, of the game in terms of wealth, and that fueled his uh, allegiance with. The other side, you know what I mean? These racist motherfuckers, cause he like, you know, money ain't got no color, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Money is green, so he thoroughly on that side of the coin. This is in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's just based on his activity as I've seen. You know what I'm saying? I don't know him, I don't follow him. But what I do know, know about him is that uh, he's always been a stand up, stand out about the people, motherfucker. So this behavior is totally against his character as, as I knew him. I would have never thought he'd, you know what I'm saying, link up with motherfuckers who openly say they slave owners. They look at the players as slaves. Absolutely. You know Texas, saying? wasn't it? Dallas, the, the Dallas. Owners of these team. Mm-hmm. You know, <clears throat> they just motherfuckers, just like you say. They told Kaepernick, "Get the fuck out of here." Real talk. Not your talents or nothing. It wasn't you did something wrong on the field or broke one of our laws that's in black and white. Right. Nigga, you kneel when we. You thinking for yourself? Get your ass out of here. Right. Ain't that right, y'all? Yeah. The <laughs> fact that all of them at one time just codified like, right. yeah, we on this joke. We can't even fucking know. We can't fuck with you. Right. And did them like that, not for fucking up. Did not for plays, just for. I'm black and y'all do y'all not represent a law enforcement worth shit because they killing us. Fuck this shit. I ain't about to represent that right. shit. That shit bother me. You know what I'm saying? He just all oh, that's all he said was that shit bother me. Yeah. You know, they don't respect your word enough enough to disrespect that something couldn't bother you. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Mm-hmm. Cause you ain't if, a man if like. You think about it. That's deep. That's it, man. It is. See, that's what I'm saying. It, it, it's like you're not a man of them. You're not right. to be. Nothing can not bother be you beyond really. me. You know what I right. mean? Like, you're not respected. So I don't respect that you're doing that with your little fro, half white boy, half black. They like look at him like, fuck what you talking about? Because they know that power him doing that. Other players was doing that shit too. And they saw that shit. Anytime they see power, they get like that. Like, oh, this nigga think he got, oh, fuck this shit. I tell you, that's why Pac did right now. I don't think it was about no other, other, other shit. Certain people, man, who lead us. And they influential me. Other niggas to stand up right with them, be like, "Yeah, I'm nigga, I'm with you." Mm-hmm. They are so afraid of that. Right. They are afraid of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's why the fuck. One of the reasons why the fuck we do the Young G's perspective to get a perspective of Young G's. Yes, sir. You know, and we on the three way today. Hey, can you dig that? So you know, I wanna speak. And, 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 and just let the brother tell us how does he feel because you know a lot of people don't like to talk about this but I got a particular thought about this I just want to know what the brothers feel like do y'all feel like Obama did anything for black people no and that's real simple it's to go down the laws and you know what I'm saying the shit he could have put in place monetarily and policies, all kind of stuff. It just wasn't subscribed just for black people, like how shit for LGBTs or shit for um, people from other countries was specifically subscribed to him. And being a black person, I don't give a fuck what you say. Do for your people. Facts. Facts. Yeah. Black first, that's what I'm talking about. You waited for all that time for you to 
leave us out for eight years. Eight years, two terms. Yeah, fucked up. See how you feel? Feel like he did something black? Um, he definitely does not. I also feel like he knew he couldn't when he went in there. You know, he knew he wasn't gonna be able to do nothing because he, he would have been the first one to ever do something. Mm. I don't know of no other. Uh, they say Bill Clinton ever did, ever did something, something specifically, specifically for black no, not specifically yeah, he did. He did this for black folks. Bill Clinton did? Yeah, yeah. Didn't he do like three strikes or something? Yeah, just oh, what else did he do? That's because he did do something specifically right. for black people. <laughs> the three strikes law. Right. Right, baby. Damn. Damn. Hey. <laughs> he did something specifically oh, for he man. just didn't announce it. Specifically right. for black people, motherfucker. That's some, you, That's, That's some shit. That's some shit. Yeah, man, I appreciate y'all having me. It's been a pleasure. You know yeah, what I'm saying? We definitely got to do this again. So, yeah, you got to come yeah. back, Tico. Indeed, indeed. Don't, I don't want y'all to forget to like, subscribe, share, and what else they got to do? Ain't there something else they do? And comment. Yeah, comment. Hello, Put your part. comments. Put your think. What, what your thoughts is. You liked it, you loved it, you hated it. Because if you don't like what we're talking about, your ass should have been tuning in somewhere. Just some shit. You know what I'm talking about? We are. We are tag that shit. You know what I mean? You know? From and a young G's perspective. A young you know G's perspective. Y'all got any black businesses y'all want to uh, put people on? Shout out to Jerk48. That shit fire. Shout out to my man, Rich Boy Cartel. I got his clothes on. Okay. Shout out to Rich Style Boy. Guys. I think they like on burn them or something, like Cal City or something. Shout out to Fashion Geek. They finna go crazy for the All-Star Games. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Shout out to my man, Elwood Ark. He doing his thing. Mm -hmm. Catch him at Rivo Small. So I go down the list, bro. I swear man, to God. Do it, do man, it, G. Do yeah, that nah, shit. I'm just saying. Shout out to everybody doing their thing. Uh, shout out to my man Zoe and T. He finna send it up for the uh, All Star Game on the, you know different parties and the events and shit. Okay. Um, shit. Shout out to everybody in Chicago and you know what I'm saying just black people making it happen. Yes, yes sir. Man. Yes sir. Cause we got plenty of entrepreneurs out here getting it. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And we always gonna big up y'all. You know. And we ain't, may, we may or may not be getting paid for the shit. You know what I'm saying? We definitely ain't getting paid for it right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's just, still it's the pleasure. The, it's the love. You know oh, what I mean? Sure. And, and we bigging up good business. Mm -hmm. Because what made you even remember that shit is the fact that they, they solid businesses. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's why you bigging up. You know what I mean? So just shout out all them businesses, man. And we always going to support y'all. Always. That's right. Uh, As usual, you know, jerk mm -hmm. choice, can you dig it? Your choice by jerk. You know what I'm talking about? Now, when you go into jerk choice, I'm going to tell you, sometimes they be slow with the order, but it's okay, okay? They black on business, okay? If you can wait for delicious. But it's, it's fine right there on assembly, yeah. It's, it's, it's delicious. If you can wait for white folks, why you talking shit about black folks? Just wait your ass there. You know we all in the slave ship, motherfucker. Can treat it fuck up. Or call ahead and be real nice when you place your order. Bang. Bang. That's it.
I want to call you one. Is it okay if I call her one? Funky dog head bitch.